I'm trying to think back to some of my fonder memories of uh, Wildstar. Uh, one of my friends made one. She was uh, she was really good about uh, breaking maps. Uh, she loved breaking maps because uh, she would uh, always get out of bounds into areas she wasn't supposed to be, and uh, and uh, she'd take these amazing screenshots. I don't know what it was about this game that just uh, kind of captured my imagination. I mean, there was some severe world building in the beginning. I used to give this game such shit for feeling unfinished and unpolished after the maybe first 30 levels. It just felt so rushed to the end, and they tried to keep it alive, and it was on live support maybe a good two years. Back when we thought this was it. This was going to be the end of it. I think it's it just boils down to the fact that you uh, that uh, any game you get really invested in it, it, it touches you in a way. I mean, any uh, imagine how like a million people would feel if they heard tomorrow that Warcraft was going to shut down. I imagine what that would feel like, and I guess that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I only had one character I ever really focused on, which was my, my little R in here. And she, I mean, she went the distance with me. I never did any of the the, really do any of the raids. I just was never geared for it. I would always get my ass handed to me and I could never get a group going. But I still had my friends. I still had my... We still had the role play. We still had the house building. We still had the events and everything. And that just made it all worthwhile. That's what kept me around for so long. And I originally did not want to get into Wildstar. I was still very much into that I hate NCSoft frame of mind when Wildstar was coming out because I was still bitter about City of Heroes and how it was just unceremoniously cancelled even though the game was pulling numbers and adding new content on a regular basis. NCSoft had hurt me once. Why would I give them an opportunity to to do it again. But eventually, the bits and bobbles of Wildstar eventually finally caught up to me. And uh, I, I took the plunge. I took the plunge and I decided, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I'll tell you what, and uh, <clears throat> Mm. Again, a grown man should not be getting emotional over this. A grown man should not. But I am. Uh, Doom, I know. I, I, I don't know why I'm having such heavy feels right now. I mean, I'd long since moved on to other games up to this point, but... Uh, God, I sound like a goddamn mess. Uh, 
if it wasn't for Wildstar, I would not know a lot of the people I know today. I wouldn't have met Maidwin, I wouldn't have met Sildi, and we wouldn't have gone on our adventures in the Guild Wars 2, our adventures into World of Warcraft. We built communities and met great people all because we just happened to meet each other.